What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are making my amazing double chocolate chocolate chip cookies. These guys are fudgy and moist, almost like a cake on the inside, and they have that sugary snap on the outside. And for me, that makes the perfect cookie. If you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe, turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any more of my future uploads. Now let's get into the recipe. You will need 160 grams of plain flour, 40 grams of cocoa powder. In there, I also have one teaspoon of salt, 135 grams of butter, five grams of espresso powder, one and a half teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda, which is about seven grams, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, 200 grams of soft brown sugar. This is homemade brown sugar, and if you've never made it, you absolutely need to give it a try. About two tablespoons-ish of sour cream. I tend to freehand that. One large free range egg. 110 grams of a milk chocolate or dark chocolate of your choice, melted and another 110 gram that we're going to chop and distribute through the mixture and also add to the tops of our cookies at the end of baking. All right, so first thing we're going to do is cream together our butter and our sugar until pale and fluffy. And to do this, I'm just going to use my hand mixer. Use your stand mixer if you prefer. Make sure you scrape the bowl down really well to make sure all the sugar and butter is nicely incorporated. We're going to add our 110 grams of melted chocolate that I've allowed to cool slightly that's important, we don't want to melt any of our other ingredients. Next up, I'm eyeballing my two heaped teaspoons of sour cream and mix to combine. Crack in that large free range egg. I also didn't add it on camera, but I added in my vanilla extract as well. Great, now we're on to our dry ingredients. Simply take your sieve and add in your flour, your cocoa powder, your bicarbonate of soda and your salt. Using my spatula, I'm going to use a folding in motion I want to be really careful not to over mix my cookie dough and the folding in method prevents that. So I'm going to take my time and just work the spatula into the mixture until just about all of those dry ingredients are mixed in. And that's perfect because what I'm going to do now is chop up my chocolate to make chocolate chips and we're going to need to fold those in. So I'm going to mix through about half of those chocolate chips that I've created. I do want to reserve some for placement on the top of the cookies when they come out of the oven after baking. So this recipe should yield about 12 cookies, but I'm using my kitchen scales to prepare balls of cookie dough that are between 65 and 70 grams each. It is quite a dense and a sticky mixture, so I'm not using my hands for this. And personally, I've never used an ice cream scoop for making cookies. It's just not a kitchen utensil I'm familiar with. So I always just use two spoons and sort of use this motion of rolling the dough from one spoon to the other spoon to create that rounded shape that will spread nicely in the oven when we go to bake. So I'll repeat those same steps for all of my cookies. And once they are all placed on the baking tray, I'm actually going to pop them into the freezer for at least an hour to completely freeze all the way through. And we are then ready to bake in our preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius in a fan oven for between 18 and 20 minutes. Be sure to adjust your oven temperatures accordingly. And I'm going to bake no more than five cookies per sheet. This just gives them enough room to spread as they wish to spread. And then enough room for me to use my pastry ring to bring them back into a nice even round. That's one of the best cookie tricks that I've learned leave them on the tray for between five to 10 minutes just to allow them to firm up, finish baking, cool down slightly before moving them to a wire rack to cool completely. At this point, I'll also add on some of those reserved chocolate chips that we've prepared. And it just creates this lovely, oozy, gooey chocolate on the top of your extra decadent cookies. Once they're fully cooled, they are sugary and crispy on the outside fudgy on the inside, which as I said, is the perfect cookie in my personal opinion. You don't need an excuse or an occasion to enjoy these extra special double chocolate chocolate chip cookies. I really hope you love the recipe. If you try it, please let me know in the comment section down below how you got on. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also make sure you hit that big red subscribe button before you leave and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any more of my future uploads. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you back on my channel really soon. Bye.